Yeah, I told the team just now, what I'm most looking for is good teammates right now. Uh, staying off the ground, not making a dumb, cheap shot uh, when we're not fully protected, or ever for that matter. Uh, rooting one another on when the practice gets longer. Seeing who's in it for themselves and who's in it for the team. Uh, I think right now that's kind of our evaluation. And then as we progress, then we'll see who's going to be able to take that championship mentality um, all day, every day. We had uh, Coach Billick talk to our team last night. And Coach Billick talked about not just the process of becoming great, but recognizing that it's about the person to the right and left of you. And uh, made a big emphasis on that, and we continue that uh, message today. I thought all the quarterbacks did okay. We had too many misses. Uh, not, not, not what we're looking for in regards to probably completion percentage. Um, I think we need better velocity on the ball. Uh, I think there was a little bit of those. All three of them, I think, had a little bit of those butterflies, a little bit of that nervous jitters of, you know, you don't have to win the job on the first day. And I think they all felt that. They all can throw the football. I have no doubt that Jordan throws a pretty ball. It spins nicely out of his hand. He moves well in the pocket. But uh, all of them, I could sense, were just a little bit hesitant on pulling the trigger and probably pretty normal on the first day. I did. Yeah, same. I, I thought they got better. The good thing was they got better as practice went on. We had our best period at the very end. So I thought that was a, a positive, but we got to start faster, no doubt. Is that natural for the first practice when there's competition like that? Yeah, I think so. I think it's natural. Um, you try to try to be ready for it, but, you know, guys are going to come out and they're, they're competing. They're trying to win the job on every rep, which you want. You want them to compete, but at the same time, you got to kind of settle in and focus on your job and just worry about the task at hand, you know, so we got to be better. It's just we're a multiple defense. Now, there's a lot of common denominators, but there's a lot for the guys to learn, and you just don't want them to get discouraged. You want them to go do the best they can do. Now, as you notice, I'm, I'm fairly verbal on the field. All I'm doing is creating chaos. If they can't handle the chaos on the practice field, oh, coach is yelling at me. How are they going to handle playing on Saturday afternoon? You guys answer the question. It's realistic in your mind in terms of how much this defense overall can improve from where oh. a year ago? I, I don't. See, I, I, you know, and with all due respect, because I love the coaching profession, I don't care about last year. We don't run that system. I don't even know what they run. I stopped watching it after the first few plays because it's completely different than what we do. So. I can't equate it. Now, I can tell you this. We got a group, a core group of guys that are getting better every day, and Coach has done a good job allowing us to get some defenders in here that are going to be a immediate helpers along with the core group, okay? So uh, I can tell you I feel pretty good about where we're going, but we haven't put a pad on yet. We really haven't hit anybody yet. And, you know, the strain of camp hasn't been... We haven't been challenged there yet. Last question here. I'll tell you this. Just so you guys understand, you don't know Coach Brown. Am I fired up? Yes. But you guys don't get to know Coach Brown, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> you get it, you get it, you get a little touch, a little feel, but seriously, he, he it's it's special. It really is. Somebody that's done it for that long. And to still have the passion and the, and just, I mean, he, it's, it's an eight in him. It's in him. He loves it. He loves it. And here's the game, guys. He, does he get yeah, loud, get yell at his players, all that kind of stuff? Yeah. You know, he, he wants to try and make them better, but he loves his players. He literally loves his players. He loves to help them. And again, like he's saying, it, what, what does the player do best? I want him, that's when I want him, I, I, I want to make the defense and mold it around the personnel that we have and call the, the defenses that fits my personnel. I thought first day was, was pretty good. We started a little bit slow um, as a quarterback room, but I think we, we finished very strong. And once we got to the team periods and seven on seven periods, I think we played pretty, pretty well today. Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself? Heading into this competition, how do you kind of manage? I mean, yeah, naturally it's it's pretty stressful. I mean, 
It's, I mean, all three of us, we want to we wanna play. We want to be the guy on September 4th. Um, it's, it's, what, it's what you dream about when you're a kid. So you just got to kind of just not, not just take a deep breath and smile because, you know, football is fun and just can't get caught up in the moment. Uh, a lot of, you know, the, the past week, it was a lot of mental preparation, watching a lot of film. We took kind of a load off our legs. Uh, but the last couple days has been a little bit more just kind of get away from all the football stuff a little bit, let your mind reset before you go into, into fall camp. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty uh, comfortable and confident with how my preparation was. One more for Gunner. Will was talking about how it's stressful to be in this situation and have to sort of manage how much pressure you put on yourself. How do you go about doing that? I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of stress. There's a little bit of, a little bit of pressure because, you know, you, like he said, I was, I was listening to him, you want to be the guy. But really, uh, pressure is a privilege. So you get out here, and if you have the pressure on you, you know you have a chance to make an impact. And, uh, you know, I'm confident in myself and my abilities, and I love to play football, so I'm, I, I'm happy with it. Um, throughout my recruiting process, uh, I was talking to a few schools, and I'm just talking to Coach Fish, and, you know, obviously has a good background with quarterback coaches. I mean, quarterbacks, and uh, the way he... The way he had all them, you know, Josh, Josh Rosen, he worked with uh, Jared Goff when he was with the Rams. So that was something that came to my mind. This offense is great, pro style. You know, God put it in my heart to come here. Do you feel like you're behind by not being here in this game? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I, I um, This is my fifth offensive coordinator I've been through. So learning playbooks is something that, you, you know, as a quarterback, you just got to know. And at the end of the day, a lot, you know, across football, concepts are, you know, just the same. It's just language, speak a different language. The last one thing that um, Will and both Gunner as well expressed about stress, putting pressure on yourself. How do you, uh, like, avoid, like, getting in your own head when you know that, you know, you're competing for this quarterback? Like I just, I have a lot of faith. So, you know, mine's just come off just tr trusting your abilities and do, do what you were taught to do. And just, you prepare right, you're going to be, be all right. When you found out that they were hiring Don Brown to be the defensive coordinator, did you Google him? Did you look up, like, his past accomplishments? Uh, yes, sir, I actually did. So, you know, he was formerly at Michigan, and, you know, he had the number one defense. He turned it around, and so uh, he's just looking to do the same thing here. How, real, how realistic is it for you guys to get to that level? Uh, I think it's very realistic, personally. Uh, you know, if we put our mind to it and just keep practicing the way we're doing, I think we could do anything.